calling to the cage, Charlie Chuckles Cousins. Well, a lot of people call me Chuckles because my <laughs> name is Chuck, but I'm not tough like this dude right here. I'll tell you, coming out of Sutherland MMA and Bay City, I'll tell you, I mean, what do you know about this place? You know, I know that this place, uh, he's coming out of a fantastic camp, good stand-up camp, great striker. Murray Sutherland, as we've talked about before, you know, this, this guy fought. He was a super middleweight champion of the world, former IKA light heavyweight world champion. I mean, he's got a very, very reputable striking coach up there in Bay City. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good people come out of that camp in the pros and the amateurs. This is going to be amateurs 185. Uh, I've done jiu-jitsu for about three years. I just started training mixed martial arts in the last eight, nine months. In the blue corner, weighing in at 185 pounds, also making his debut tonight, representing Sutherland MMA from Bay City, Michigan, it's Charlie Chuckles Cousins. And it Chuck, we've also talked, I mean, we, we talked about Murray Sutherland in the past. Uh, again, fantastic record. Cousins is under Murray Sutherland. Murray not only fought Michael Spinks back in the day, I think two times he fought Tommy Hearns, and he coached Butterbean back wow. in the days of boxing. Uh -huh. Costanzo and Cousins, as we've got Cousins trying to back Costanzo in against the cage here. It's going to be a test of wrestling ability early Cousins, on. Cousins looks like he's got some wrestling. He's got no over-under. Trying Looking to get for the, the legs. legs, yeah, uh-huh. Good Costanzo. counter there by Costanzo. Possibly got it. He's working on a choke. Cousins comes up on it. And Chuck, you talked about Costanzo's football background. It's amazing the explosion of popularity of mixed martial arts. There's people just flooding into the sport from boxing, wrestling, football, everywhere. Nice Costanzo kick. throws a little spin kick, a little Taekwondo going on there somewhere. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these guys from Sutherland's camp strike. And I'm hoping cut, I'd like to see Cousins step back and cut loose, but he takes him down instead. Costanzo hitting that spin kick, but now he's down on his back, but he's, yet he's got his arms around him, so he's uh, hanging in there pretty well. Yeah, Cousins is actually in a half guard of Costanzo. What he needs to do is pass that, that right leg of Costanzo and come around to his left, Cousins' left, and get a cross-body position. Let's not forget, both guys making their debut right now inside the cage. They're feeling each other out at this point. And it really says a lot for the coaches of a lot of these fighters. They come in there, they know what to do. They're on their back, they, they slap that guard on there to, uh, to, to get some defense going for themselves. They're not just taking a bunch of bombs. Cousins throwing a left hook on the way up. Step oh, oh here we go. The stands will land the punch, and, and then, then he got two fire in, uh, in return. Back and forth here, and now uh, it's... Chuckles trying to go back to the wrestling. It seems like he's trying to keep it with wrestling. Looks like both these guys have had some wrestling. And it goes again. Chuckles not laughing right now. He's on business. Good looking takedown. As, uh, yeah, Cousins once again in half guard of Castillo. Ooh. Chuckles is landing some up against shots the cage, now. Uh -oh. Giving him the business. Doing a nice job of it. Pounding away. Rick fight looking it closely. Can Castillo fight back? There he goes. There's the top now. And that's exactly where he should be. This is going to be very, very difficult for Costanzo to come out from underneath of this. Yeah, he's not in a good position right now. He's looking up the referee. Yeah, Cousins, he's coming back Cousins is party. working on a, a choke. He just needs to let go of that left hand and come up and rain some bullets on him. He's got perfect yeah, this position. Yeah, this is a time to break away from the wrestling and go with the boxing, right, right Steve? He's got great position. He's got him pinned up against the cage. Let him go, let him go and put a beat on him. Yeah, and that's something he'll learn as, as he goes along in his career. He may, he, you know, he may have it. He, if he's got it sunk deep, he does. He got it with Whoa. a choke. Nice job, Charlie Cousins. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of the fight, 2 minutes, 48 seconds. Winner with a guillotine choke, Charlie Chuckles Cousins. We well, can go back to uh, Bay City and say, hey, I'm 1-0. That's right. I, we're seeing a lot of strength like we were talking about from this Sutherland MMA group. We're seeing lots of groups popping up all over the place, many out of Michigan, but Sutherland's group has done very, very well. And uh, 185, you know, that's getting a little bit up there as far as uh, there's not a ton of people in that division, but I think Cousins has a chance to make a splash. Here he is, Cousins, with our friend Steve Hyman. Thanks, Chuck. I'm standing here with Charlie Chuckles Cousins with his 185 amateur MMA debut win. Congratulations, Charlie. Tell me a little bit about the fight. Ah, uh, yeah, went to the ground. So I like it. Went hard. Went my way. Charlie, you come out of a fantastic camp. You're up there with Murray Sutherland, one of the most, in my opinion, one of the most reputable strikers in the MMA game today. You take it to the ground, hit a choke. 
I'm sure you can strike. Was that the intention all along? Or are you ready to go either direction? I'm ready to go either way. Charlie Cousins, 1-0. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing much, much more of you. Charlie Cousins, everybody.